Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. It is almost 11 a.m. And I spent the morning just making sure that my main channel video was all ready to go and ready to share and had everything that it needed. Uh, so if you guys haven't, I'll show you. It is now live. Thrift flip dresser under $100 also worked out. I am on schedule. I did Pilates one day and then also like a cardio fix one day. And today I think is like another cardio. I think it's called Dirty 30. I think it's one of the hardest ones. So right now, I'm doing another sewing project. I really don't sew this much. I know that I keep saying that, but maybe I do. Maybe I'm lying to myself. I don't know. Um, so I am actually making face masks right now. Um, Romeo really has been after me to make some and I really need to do a test run on my skills um, because Joanne's is sending me a box of materials to make them for hospitals or medical workers um, so I don't know how how much supplies they're sending me but I'm gonna make as many as I can so I'm kind of doing like a test run on how they're turning out so I've cut some fabric and look at all of the cotton jersey fabric that I have so I could I don't have a lot of elastic though which I think that's gonna be my problem, but but I do have a lot of 100% cotton, which I've researched is the best. I know that these aren't like all that preventative. Like everything that you read is like, oh, those don't work. Oh, like there's so many mixed opinions and like I don't even know what to believe anymore. Or even if this fabric, after my research, they said that 100% cotton was the best or maybe I've heard felt. I don't know, I'm sure one of you guys was gonna let me know in the comments that these aren't gonna work. But what it's doing is, is helping us feel better. And if it's even a 2% preventative, like if it's even just this much preventative, when we go to the grocery store, it's worth it to us because it's not like they're available anywhere to buy. So that's my thought process behind these masks. So I got my fabric cut out, I got my elastic cut out and my sewing machine set up. So I'm gonna make these real quick and then I'll show you what they look like. You guys. You know, you don't always do things right the first time. <laughs> what does this fit? I know where I messed up though. So instead of folding it, I folded it hot dog style, like long ways, instead of hamburger style, like short ways. So like clearly this is too big. So now I have to take out this elastic so that I can reuse the elastic. You do, you know, you just try things out. It did, the thing did not say which way to fold it. So I think I just assumed. This way makes more sense. I think this one's gonna be a lot better. All right, I think it's still a little too big on me. Like I needed a little tighter, but I think this will fit for Romeo. Let's see. He's gonna be so happy. I can't, I can't believe I messed that first one up so bad. Is it too big a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. What are you doing? Tightened it just a little bit, right? I think the elastic's just too long. Okay. We did it. I think watching TikToks has like made me want to make all of these recipes. Like I want to make the whipped coffee. I want to make the banana bread or everyone's just making banana bread. And I have some ripe bananas. My only problem is that I don't have any eggs because the last couple of times we went to the grocery store, they were all out, but I do have egg whites. Don't know if that's going to work, but we are going to try it anyway. I'm going to pick all this mess up because I have stuff everywhere. Hey guys, it's much later now. I'm not normally a dessert person, like never have been my whole life. Watching all of these dessert TikToks with people making either banana bread or even this like whipped coffee, I kind of want to try to make them. You want to make them too? You want to help? She's so cute. But the problem is, is I don't, I don't think that I have a lot of the supplies. Supplies. Oh my, I'm such a, I'm such a DIYer. I said supplies ingredients so i have granulated sugar and cane sugar can't tell you the difference it's both sugar to me i don't have butter <laughs> don't have butter but i do have like like can't believe it's not but this is like vegetable oil spread i'm pretty sure this is like worse for you than like regular butter but i have this can i make banana bread with the ingredients i actually have in the house and will it taste good? We're gonna find out. So everyone on TikTok does it different. They're all different recipes. Ooh, 
there's definitely not a specific one on TikTok that I'm gonna follow. So I was looking at like different ones online. Like these babies are ready to be banana bread. I guess we need a pan, right? I do have two of these. These are basically like five, two five by fives instead of one nine by five. Preheat the oven to 350. Spray the loaf pans with nonstick spray and then flour. Oh. All I have is olive oil spray. I think that might be weird. So let's just do the vegetable oil spread. Ugh. Oh my god, I'm already making a huge mess. I don't get this. All right. I'm assuming all of this is so that it just doesn't stick to the pan, right? In a large bowl, roughly mash the potatoes. Add, oh, brown sugar? Well, it's going with regular sugar. Oil. Vegetable oil. We don't have that either. So the vegetable oil spread is going to have to do. Okay, we're going to put the... Oh my god. They're really ripe. I'm gonna put my bananas in here. Two, three. Oh my god, I just went. <laughs> okay, this is gonna go in there. Four. E -e. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mashed. Okay, so a fourth of a cup. Okay, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. I mean, look, this one looks really good. Look at that. Wow, my turns out like that. I have one more banana that I can make, put it on top of them. So we can make this look pretty. A fourth of a cup of vegetable oil. Kitchen is not where I thrive, guys. If this turns out good, I will be very impressed. Butter alternative, that's vegetable oil spread. I don't know about this. Half a cup of the brown sugar. So we're just gonna use sugar. It's like beige, you know, halfway in between. I'm probably doing this all wrong. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a lot of sugar. I hope this dissolves. This is not on my diet. I'm working out so much. That's okay. Almond milk. Okay, this is not unsweetened. But it'll do. So we're going to do half of this half. Two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. This is a half a teaspoon. So Four of these, all right. Ooh. And whisk. Oh, I think he used the whisk. Oh, but it's clean. Oh, it's, get <coughs> it's giving me a facial. The dishwasher. <laughs> Ow, it's hot. Oh my God, that's really hot. Okay, dishwasher just stopped and this was very hot. So I'm gonna have to wrap it like this. Okay, whisk. Whisk to incorporate. Sit. Okay, I don't have a sifter. This does. does oh, this does not look. Uh. Sift in flour, baking soda, salt, cinnamon. Do I have cinnamon? And use a wooden spoon to mix. Okay. I'm embarrassed. This is totally embarrassing. Ooh, okay, it's getting thicker. It's actually looking like a better consistency. I hope this is right. Wow, this is thick. This must do something important because that's not a lot, but. I have cinnamon. Oh my God. Yes. How much cinnamon? I had a lot more ingredients than I thought I was going to, or the ingredients that I didn't have were so crucial that this is gonna totally fall apart. Not sure. I mean, it's it's starting to go places, you guys. It's really, how do I have so much flour on the ground? How do I make such a mess? I don't understand. Okay, mix with wooden spoon. Transfer batter into your prepared pan and top with extra banana slices. 45 minutes. Bake for 45 minutes and then cover with foil and bake for another 10 to 15 minutes longer and test with a toothpick. It smells delicious. Babe, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it smells good. This smells great, but I didn't have the ingredients that I needed. Is 
it bad? No, I don't know. I... Mm. Delicious. Is it? Oh wow, that's good. Is it really? Stop, you're lying. I think you're lying. Palm oil, maybe, is this vegan? I think I'm making vegan one. Half in this one. Smells so good. Oh my God, I, I am not. I never said I was a good or clean cooker, baker person. Um, okay, I have one more banana. Make it look like the picture. Not bad, guys. Not bad. I, at least I tried. Okay. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, 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 hot. Ah! Ah! Clean this stuff up and we'll make the whipped coffee. Okay, so let's see how to make this whipped coffee thing. <gasps> I love it. So cute. One tablespoon of instant coffee. So I have these. When we went on our trip to the Philippines, always bring these instant Starbucks packs. They're not the greatest, but they work. I mean, I don't know how three grams. Hey Siri. Uh-huh. Siri's listening to me now. Oh, sorry. Hey Siri. Here are TV shows matching listening. Listening Snow Tower. And listening even when you hate what's being said. <laughs> what? How many grams in a tablespoon? Grants and tablespoons are not compatible. Yeah, I realized that once I asked you. Thanks, though. This one I am going to make a TikTok on. I'm so excited. How many of these little packets I'll need to make a tablespoon? So I have my little TikTok station set up here. I want it to be like really like vibey and like moody and like laid out the right way. Do I need a plan? It's all about the right aesthetic, guys. I don't know. Tablespoon of instant coffee, tablespoon of sugar, tablespoon of hot water, and mix for three to five minutes. You want some whipped coffee? You want some whipped coffee? Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. They look really nice. Like I got this one and that, wow, look at that. And then this, like dumping the coffee. I don't know, like I came up with a transition like to make it like that, but then I didn't do it on this. Oh, it's upside down. Oh no, it's not. Okay, boil some of my filtered water. We don't need a lot, so that's good enough. Now we wait. Okay, so hot water. Okay. And whisk. This would go a lot faster if I had one of those electric ones, those little like handheld ones. My mom has one of those. Okay, give me a few minutes, I'll be right back to you. You guys, my arm. But look, it's getting so light and whipped. I did it! I made the whipped coffee, Kinsley! I made it, I did it. I did it, Kinsley. Aren't you proud of me? I need a little bit of ice. Almond milk. It's probably gonna be sweet because I put a tablespoon of sugar in it. It looks delicious. Kinsley, moment of truth. Oh. Oh my god. Babe, no, no, this is delicious. It's strong, <laughs> it's good though. Well, this was a success. So if our banana bread is equally as successful, TikTok will be coming through on the recipe. So definitely try this. Okay, let's, okay, let's check on our banana bread. It's rising, look. Three more minutes on the banana bread and then I need to put foil on it and then put it back in there for 10 minutes instead. Meanwhile, I'm going to edit this TikTok. So go follow me on TikTok. Oh, it smells so good. Wow. Ooh, 
Look at that. Wow. They look pretty at least. Okay, so I'm just gonna let those cool down a little bit and then we'll slice them up and see what it tastes like. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this banana bread. I'm definitely not gonna wanna eat this much banana bread, but hopefully it tastes good and Romeo will really like it. Oh, wow. Okay, I mean, for a non-baker, they didn't stick. Okay, well, that one didn't stick. Oh. <gasps> yes. Okay, let's try a little piece. It smells good. Not bad. Hmm. Well, that's not very good. It's a little spongy. I don't know, is banana bread supposed to be spongy? I actually put it a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Oh my god. Mm, it's good. It's a little spongy, right? Yeah, but I like sponges. You <laughs> it's not bad. Mm, that's good. That's that's pretty good. Just saying myself. So we are gonna venture out and try to go to the grocery store, right? And then get more bleach for more tie-dye. <laughs> and then do more tie-dye. We sell out every time. Oh, he has inventory coming. Oh, that makes sense why you want to do it again. Okay, so he has inventory coming. So if we do get that box of stuff in today or this week, we're going to tie-dye this week. Uh, yeah, we'll have it this weekend. And so let us know in the comments if you're interested in more tie-dye. And we are going to venture out and try and go to the grocery store. We're going to use the air fryer tonight, yeah, yeah. to cook parmesan encrusted mushrooms or something like that um so we will see you after we get back from the grocery store because we are running out of well, quite a few things <laughs> good morning guys so we did go to the grocery store last night um we were protected and we made it home uh, but we were really tired to cook dinner so we just ate a quick sandwich last night so this morning kinsley calm down ah! <laughs> romeo is making us some breakfast wrap with spinach tortillas and cheese and all the breakfast things hash browns tomatoes ham turkey bacon and egg whites and a little avocado mm. oh wow <laughs> that's mine so we are going to make those crusted parmesan crusted mushrooms one of these days and we'll vlog it for you guys because i'm excited to make that i love that air fryer just gonna eat breakfast and then finish up this vlog to get it to you guys and go for a walk so i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed making tiktok recipes with me with like not the right ingredients but it actually came out pretty good i had a lot of fun making them we're gonna do a tiktok together we're gonna do tiktoks well we're gonna do a tiktok together a tiktok Romeo did the funniest TikTok I'll incorporate. We we worked on it the other day. <laughs> so funny. I'll put a clip of it, but follow him on there too, because I think we're going to be doing a lot more TikToks. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're enjoying the vlogs, definitely hit the subscribe button and the like button if you like this video. And we will see you guys on Friday. Bye, guys. Ow, I just, I just hit myself with a fist. Kisley, come say bye. Mm.